So, I mean, you guys have a network of, of receivers that you could have counted as mentors from Ohio State, but because you guys were both from Southern California, were you particularly closer or developed more of a relationship with him maybe than even some other? Uh, not really. In college, I wasn't really. Uh, he's always showed out, showed love to me. Uh, uh, but we weren't really that close. Uh, he was way before me, so right, right. Uh, I but, but didn't I know. Didn't know yeah, I ain't really. So that was like just that. one day that you had met. In yeah, California. yeah. Uh, we met a couple times. I seen him. He came to a game uh, in, in my college. Uh, in college, but uh, since I since I uh, got drafted, I feel like we got close, closer and closer. Chris, sorry to ask you to repeat, but what have the first couple of days been like? Uh, it's been good, man. Just getting used to the weather, uh, getting used to the heat, and. Uh, being in a new atmosphere, being in a new environment, uh, I feel like uh, it's going to be good for me, and I can't wait to get better. How about the information you guys have been processing so far and giving to you how you adjust to that part? That was good. Uh, as, as the playbook goes, I feel like I'm good uh, with the playbook. Uh, I feel like that comes to me easy, and uh, once I get it on the field and go, get it through walkthroughs, I feel like I'm good. So, uh, I think Coach Allen said a couple of times you have been exactly what they expected mm -hmm. you to be. What does that mean for you, to you? What does that say in terms uh, that's huge coming from the head coach. I mean, uh, they, they believe in me. Uh, they see a lot in me. Uh, but I feel like I keep getting better and better. Uh, I feel like I haven't reached my potential yet at the NFL level. So uh, it's just my second day. So I'm, I'm ready to keep getting better. Coach, were you, were you trying to gain weight or do you think that might affect your speed? Uh, I feel like I'm good where I'm at. Uh, that's, why, that's why I've been playing at my whole, whole career. And uh, I've been successful. So uh, I feel like I just got to uh, get more defined and, and eat better. And I feel like I'm going to be good uh, moving forward. A lot, of, a lot was made before the draft about you don't drop the ball. Is that an acquired skill? Is that something you work really hard on? Or is that just something that comes back? Uh, it's just, that's, that's something I take pride in. As a receiver, you don't want to drop the ball at all. And uh, I carry myself in that. I don't want to drop any passes. If I drop a pass, uh, that's going to haunt me the whole day and even into the next day. So that's what I pride myself in. I don't want to put nothing on the ground. And that's, that's how you build the quarterback's trust. Did Mike give you an indication of whether he'd see you at OTAs or, or the veteran Mike? Uh, nah, he ain't giving me nothing. Uh, you know Mike, uh, he's a competitor. I can't wait to get on the field with him, though. I mean, uh, he's a dog, and uh, that's what I like, and that make me go harder. So uh, I can't wait to be, uh, be his teammate and, and succeed. What are your early impressions working with Cody? You know, the, he's the new guy in town. <coughs> the coach. Uh, he's great, man. He's great uh, as, a, as a coach and as a, as a person. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's what I that's what I look to as a, as a coach. I want to build a great relationship first, and that's what he did with me. Uh, he called me right after the draft and, and welcomed me in and uh, sat behind me uh, one on one film. And I feel like he's he would develop a relationship, and I feel like uh, that's how I play harder for him. So.